Hi guys, it's Matt Carter here and welcome to this video on Google AdWords tricks. In this video I'm going to show you some of the tricks that I use when running a Google AdWords campaign. I'm going to introduce you to a tool called AdWords Editor and show you how to use that, which is a really powerful tool which will help you run your AdWords campaigns a lot faster and a lot less pain involved. And I'm also going to show you some other tricks that I do. So the first thing I want to tell you is when I bid on keywords in an AdWords campaign, I'll bid double the price for the keyword that Google tells me I need to for the exact and the phrase match. So if Google says for a particular keyword you need to pay a dollar to be in position one to three, then I'll pay two dollars. That way I know I'll be in position one to three, or most likely be in position one to three, and then um, I'll get a good click through rate, and then in turn get a good quality score, and then in turn I'll be able to pay less per click to stay in that position over time. So what I'll then do is bring the bid down again. I won't leave it at $2. For the broad match, I usually pay a bit less than what Google says. So if you want to know what Google is estimating you need to pay for that click, um, go into your AdWords ac uh, account and then under the Tools tab, locate the Traffic Estimator and then just plug in the keyword and Google will tell you using that tool. So that's what you do. That's what I do initially. Then I'll use AdWords Editor. So to upload things. So let's go to AdWords Editor. I'm just going to use a brand new one here, completely fresh. So let's say you've just downloaded it, it will look like this. Click on the Campaigns tab here and then I actually added in a campaign a few minutes ago to save time. So just click Campaign, Add Campaign, fill out the fields for the campaign name and how much you want to spend per day, your um, daily budget. And then click on your Ad Groups um, here and then you can do bulk uploading using this little button here. Click that and then this thing will jump up at me. Make sure that button there is selected and then it's just keeping the column names because down here it allows you to cut and paste from Excel so I can cut and paste bulk. But what I need to do is make sure in my Excel spreadsheet I keep the same column headers as they've got here. Campaign, Ad Group, Max CPC and then the only one, other one I'm really interested in at the moment is the status. So go to an Excel spreadsheet and then um, over here go add the same thing. See I've got the same headers all the way across. I literally just select it including the headers, copy it, back to AdWords Editor, paste it in, push next, finish and then we're done and then you can see it's in there a new ad group. Now of course if I had a hundred I could have them all ready in the Excel spreadsheet and upload them all at once and have a hundred new ad groups in AdWords Editor. It's really quite easy to do. Um, you do the same thing for your ads um, here, you just fill out the fields, upload your ads and then the same thing for your keywords. So you just go multiple changes, I'll just do it for the keywords one keywords. So with the keywords though, so you just use the same column headers that they tell you to, but with the keywords you've obviously got three because you've got exact phrase in the broad. You've got all the match types. And as you can see here, if it was a dollar, I doubled it. And if it wasn't, I halved it. I don't know what the actual figures are for this example. By the way, this example I'm using is cure yeast infection. Um, so then I would just go like this and copy them all again. And then go back to AdWords Editor. And in here I just paste, including the column headers, and then it's done and then the keywords are in there and then I have to add an ad, that's why it's giving me those funny yellow things but just do the same for ads, multiple changes, add ads. But the great thing about AdWords Editor is once you've run your campaign for a couple of days you can then go get recent changes and then AdWords Editor up there, see, will go and get what's happened on the AdWords account over the last couple of days and give you all the figures on your click-through rate, on the, your cost, on the average position, and then you can do searches for these things by going over to this little button here called Advanced Search. So if I go to Advanced Search, oops, I can then search for things like average position. So I could have average position is greater than 3, and I add that, and then average position is less than or equal to 8. And then I can do a search for everything that is in that position. If I click Search then, it would take me back here, but obviously I haven't got any statistics because it's a brand new account, but then all the fields would be filled in and it would be only showing me ads that are in positions 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And then obviously they're not in the positions 1 to 3, so then I want to increase their bids. So what I would do then is just go down to a little tab down the bottom here and it's got advanced, um, oops, sorry I'm in the wrong tab, I meant to be in the keywords tab here. It's got advanced bid changes, you see that, click that, another box will appear and then you can just go increase bids by 20%. So all the ones in positions 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, I would do a bulk, select them and then click advanced bid changes and then increase it by 20-25% and then that should move them up into a better position. If they were in a worse position, like they were in positions um, 
8 to 11 then you might want to increase the bids further so do a separate advanced search back to advanced search here for position worse positions like 8 to 11 and change these figures here so you can do that um, you can also search for other things so if it's not the position you, you might want to think about click-through rate so you can do an advanced search here for um, click-through rate see click-through rate is less than one I would go less than one here and then search on that and then then what I do is look at the ad, look at what the results are, and if the position of that ad is pretty good, one to three, then I know, well, it must be the ad, because it's in a good position, people are seeing it, it's right there in front of them, but they're just not clicking it, so I've got to change the ad text. So then I know it's the ad that's got the problem, not the position. So this is the power of AdWords Editor. You can do bulk searches for things and with bad click-through rates, with bad positioning, and you can do bulk changes. So then... Uh, I would then go and change that ad and you can also do things other searches say for tracking Exa example uh, let me just scroll down so you can see that um, could be how many conversions I've had so if I'm doing a sign up so I'm trying to build a list I might have a squeeze page and I might be getting a good click-through rate for an ad um, that I'm running it might be in a great position but I'm just not getting anyone signing up then I know that there's something wrong with the landing page, the squeeze page itself. So then I might want to think about changing that or building out themes or different landing pages. So that's the power of AdWords Editor when you're running your campaign. So I highly recommend that you use it and get used to how it works. So it's not too difficult to use, but it is well worth the investment of your time using um, AdWords Editor. So let's recap on what we've looked at in this video. When you're initially bidding, I bid higher for my phrase and my exact match than Google tells me. It gets a better click-through rate and then I bring the bid down over time. For the phrase match, I usually half it. The other thing is using AdWords Editor, do searches for thing, um, ads that are not in a good position and then increase their position initially. Get them in a good position, give them a good chance to get clicked. Um, and then you need to track everything over time and then if they're in a good position and they're just not getting clicked well then you know the ads kind of a bit crappy so you might have to rewrite the ad however if the the ad, you've done that you've got a good click through rate and you're getting no conversions then you might want to think about re redoing the landing page if it's for a squeeze page um, if it's for an affiliate offer then you need to be doing conversion tracking I won't go into that now um, and then if you're still getting no conversions then you might want to think well this keyword's stinks I'm not getting anything with it so ditch it don't hold on to a loser um, but at least you know then that you've tried everything and you've given it a good good trial run and it's still not working so that's a quick overview of some of the things that I do in my Google AdWords accounts to manage them properly so I highly recommend you get AdWords editor and start using it so that's the end of this video thanks for listening and until next time bye for now